This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good afternoon, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for June 21, 2023. And in the news this afternoon, attorneys say they aren't allowed to see clients on Saturdays at the Tower Street prison. The leadership of the Tower Street Adult Correctional Center in downtown Kingston and some members of the legal fraternity are at loggerheads again over a restriction on Saturday visits to clients by the attorneys who are contending that other people have been allowed to visit while they are barred. The issue, which is under probe by the Criminal Law Practice and the Procedure Subcommittee of the Jamaica Bar Association, is a recurring decimal according to several attorneys who were contacted by the news. This, despite the correspondence from the Department of Correctional Services in 2021 to the Jamaican Bar Association following an intervention by the subcommittee in which it pledged that guidelines will be implemented to standardize the way forward. According to the DCS in that correspondence, attorneys are permitted to visit correctional facilities Mondays to Fridays between 10 a.m. and 12 noon and 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. On Saturdays, it said attorneys would be allowed to visit between 10 a.m. and 12 noon with the caveat that extenuating circumstances could cause these allowances to change. Affected attorneys are in the meantime shafting at the current restriction, which they say has come as a surprise given the 2021 understanding. According to the lawyers, Saturday is a convenient visiting day given that on weekdays they are engaged in other court matters at varying locations. Veteran attorney and the former Jamaican Bar Association head Jacqueline Cummings told the news that the visitation rules at the facility change arbitrarily. Almost every time they change the superintendent of that facility or there is a new commissioner of corrections, we have this problem. The rules and the procedures change for lawyers, she said. Cummings, who said she visited the facility as recently as last Saturday to meet with a client, charged that there is a disparity in the restrictions on visitors. I went there on Saturday at 10.30 a.m. and was denied entry to see a client, and yet a busload of individuals from a church group were allowed into the facility, Cummings told the news. Attorney and the chair of the Criminal Law Practice and the Procedure Subcommittee of the Jamaican Bar Association, Tamika Harris, who said she has also been prevented from visiting her client at the facility in recent times, said the working group is having discussions to determine the best way to address this matter. The news was shown correspondence between the Department of Corrections and Harris in her capacity as a chairperson from 2021, in which she outlined that on a visit to the facility with another attorney to see a client, they were told that based on the Corrections Act, lawyers were not allowed to visit on Saturdays, Sundays and the public holidays. Harris said she was further informed by a prison official that the entity operates with a skeleton staff on Saturdays and so could only accommodate attorneys on weekdays. Harris noted that contrary to the utterances of the official, there was nothing in the legislation prohibiting visits on the day in question. Section 163 of the Corrections Act says that no person shall, except in a case of emergency, be allowed to visit an inmate on a Sunday or public holiday. In the meantime, attorney Courtney Foster told the news that she has lodged a complaint with the Jamaican Bar Association about the issue. I went to see a client at the facility on Saturday, June 11, and I was advised to return as it was the lunch hour. I returned at the time I was told, and it was indicated to me that attorneys are not permitted to see their clients on the weekends. Of course, this was a surprise to me because there was no advisory sent out, and I stated same, she said. I had a particular concern because as attorneys, during the week we don't have the opportunity to see our clients because of our various court fixtures. On a Saturday, we take that opportunity to meet with our clients to get instructions and so, to have such a restriction implemented, it is quite unfortunate. Persons should have access to their counsel, and I don't see why there ought to be such a restriction, Rose stated. Certainly, the participation of the Jamaican Bar Association will be important in this regard to ensure that all parties are in the same position in terms of attorneys accessing their clients and the clients accessing their attorneys, she said. 
I know different facilities will have different rules. I have been to other facilities on Saturdays, and I have not been restricted in that matter, and I have been to Tower Street before on a Saturday to see my client without being restricted, Ro added. It is something that's very important because access to representation is a part of one's preparation to appear before the court. Any attorney will tell you that a preparation starts long before we stand up in court, so it is important that we have the opportunity to meet with our clients, Ro added. A representative of the Department of Corrections, when contacted, said that checks would be made to verify the complaints. The only reason I know they shouldn't be allowed in would be because they have to apply to visit, but because you said Saturday in particular, I am going to check with the superintendent or the commissioner to see what would cause that, the individual said. Attorneys wanting to visit clients are required to complete and submit a visitor's application form for each client. Brett, not a threat to Jamaica, says the Met Service. The Meteorological Service of Jamaica has reported that the threat of a tropical storm Brett to Jamaica has been reduced. The Weather Service stated in a Twitter update Tuesday afternoon that the reduction was due to unfavorable conditions being encountered by the system. Brett is now expected to dissipate by the weekend over the Central Caribbean Sea, Met Service said. Earlier in the day, forecasters had warned that a bread could threaten Jamaica as a hurricane when it enters the Caribbean on Friday, but could weaken as it gets closer to the island. More benefit increases for NIS pensioners The Ministry of Labor and Social Security has announced that, that along with increases to pension benefits, which became effective on April 1, 2023, Three other benefits under the National Insurance Scheme have also been increased. Employment injury benefits have been increased from $3,200 to $4,200 per week, with effect from April 1, 2023. The funeral grant has been increased from $90,000 to $150,000. The increase is applicable to claims for eligible contributors, pensioners, and their spouses who have died on or since April 1, 2023. Additionally, benefits under the NI Gold Comprehensive Health Insurance Plan have also been increased with effect from June 1, 2023. The increases to the HIP coverage apply to hospitalization, surgical fees, doctor's visits, diagnostic procedures, dental and optical services, and prescription drugs. The rates of increase for hospitalization range from 25% to 150%. Daily room and board rates have been increased from $800 to $1,000 per day, while hospital outpatient coverage has been increased from $2,000 to $5,000. Coverage for diagnostic services, consultants' fees and doctor's visits, including emergency home visits, have been increased by 100%. Prescription drug coverage has been increased by 40%, while coverage for dental and optical services has been increased by 166%. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.